Okay, I got this new um, Rocktron MIDI Mate, and uh, it was attempting to utilize it in live, Ableton Live. Unfortunately, um, the MIDI Mate utilizes program changes for the bulk of uh, uh, the messages that it sends out. There are uh, basically three different modes, bank, instant, or controller. Controller mode gives you um, one, two, three, four, five buttons, uh, a total of five CC messages that you can send out to Ableton, which is sort of useless. As you can see, um, if I were to, um, let's, let's go ahead and quit Oculator here for a second. Uh, if I were to go ahead and send messages in, even though I am clearly receiving MIDI from this device, Ableton cannot recognize a program change as something that I can map to uh, one of these sort of mini mappable controls within Ableton. So the workaround is that we need some kind of intermediary uh, in order to um, uh, interpolate that data that's coming in this program change uh, and to translate that into a control change value that Ableton can handle. So this took me a minute um, to figure out. So like for instance, when I first opened up Oscillator, which is a fantastic program, um, if you're working on a Mac and doing any kind of show control or, or any kind of uh, just data interpolation, I, I would highly recommend that you purchase Oscillator. Very useful for sending out all kinds of different messages. So um, first thing you're going to want to do when you open up Oscillator is that you're going to want to um, set up your MIDI input and output. So right now, Oscillator input is available for... Um, uh, Oscillator as an input source, and then I also want this UM2, which is a, uh, a USB MIDI device that I've got connected currently to the Rocktron MIDI Mate, uh, and then output. So we're going to use Oscillator output, but also uh, you know just have that UM2 port output as well. So we've got this thing running now, and what you'll see happens is that as I hit buttons on the MIDI Mate. Um, we will see sort of these things that are that are popping up. So immediately, Oscillator is now recognizing the input from the UM2 from this Rockton device, and it is interpolating that data as a bang. Um, so what we're getting is we are getting uh, MIDI data. We're getting a program change on channel 16. Um, that's useful and all. However, what we need to do is we need to come up here to edit and we need to hit this demux button. And what that does um, is now that is going to take those individual values of uh, program change on channel 16 and it is going to interpolate those. So as I hit these buttons, uh, because we're on this this final bank of the mini mate, we will begin to see that these individual values of that program change on channel 16 are reflected as I'm hitting these individual buttons. Okay, so then the next step is um, I'm going to go ahead and close this one, and we can see over here that I've basically done the same thing. So I've made this sort of osculator blank template, which has uh, all of my banks of channels which are basically program change and in any um, MIDI, uh, either a CC value or a uh, note value um, or even a program change value, you get values of 0 through 127. So you get a, whole, a total of 128 values. So you can see that I've um, told Oscillator to say, to, to look at these values and say, hey, look, there are all of these values available. Now what I've done is I have mapped the last uh, eight values to MIDI CC messages, uh, 102 through 110. Um, and you can come over here, and if you look up um, the MIDI spec, the MIDI controller spec, uh, you can see that 102 through 120 are undefined, which means that those are available for use um, for whatever you want. So what I've done here is I've created a MIDI CC value um, 
based on this bang. So 119, when I get um, a program change with a value of 119 on channel 16, it will output a bang of MIDI CC 102. Um, so now I can go into Ableton and I can say, okay, let's come in here. Um, I'm going to say oscillator output and we're going to make sure that remote control is on. Um, and now I can come in here and hit my MIDI value um, and say, for instance, I want to map uh, this tap tempo to, I don't know, this button. Now I'm going to hit this button uh, on my Rocktron MIDI Mate, which happens to correspond to channel 4, which is going to give us a CC value of 106. We can see that CC value of 106 is reflected here. If I take this out of MIDI mode, I should now be able to tap. Yeah, we're getting a tap tempo. So now, uh, that gives us lots more options. The Rocktron MIDI Mate does have up to five CC messages built into the device. Um, so if your uh, need is only for five CC messages, that's fine. Um, most hardware devices, for instance, I'm going to be utilizing this with a venue, uh, a D-Show profile venue system, it will recognize a program change as opposed to a CC value. So for me, that will, will, will work well as well uh, in that setting. But for an independent show where I'm more um, going to be using Ableton for triggering and looping and those types of things, it's more useful for me to have these, these uh, program change values interpolated as CC data because that gives me lots more options um, for all kinds of triggering from within Ableton and then um, outside of those, uh, those um, values as well. Anyway, uh, I hope this has been somewhat helpful. Um, that was my, I guess, working through this, trying to figure out how I can get this thing to work with Ableton.